Greetings, everyone. It is your friend, Beefswell, back with you once again. And this time we are coming to you from Malakajin here in the scenic Stone Talon Mountains. We have decided that our next enter into the fray shall be in the Southern Barrens. Uh, the Barrens, of course, were a legendary <clears throat> proving ground of young warriors of the Horde in the day. Uh, they have now been sadly separated into two separate uh, regions, and uh, we've already conquered the Northern Barrens, so today we shall continue along to the Southern Barrens. So let's get out there and do this. One moment. Just fixing a bit of technical difficulties with my mount. Let's see. Oh, that does seem a little better. So, this road through the mountains should lead us, ah, yes, into the Southern Barrens. Here we are. This way, shaman. I see you've discovered the high road. The Alliance hopes to sever our ties with Stone Talon, but they forget we Torn have hunted across these lands for generations. We know every hillside switchback and game trail from here to Thousand Needles. But for these paths to stay open, we must stop the humans from mapping them out. Patrol the trail east and kill any high road scouts you find along the way. Then speak to Tunawa Stillwind, just up the path. I will do this for my people. Seek to impede on Horde lands. Not today. By the powers of the elements, be cleansed! a bit of technical difficulties with the elements. Trying to clean things up a little bit. 
commune better with nature. So that your far sight of me is clearer. All right, hopefully that's a little better. One or two more things. me to kill three. I suppose I should temper my sense of justice. But if this fool wants to come at me, To now a still wind, we what go. brings you here? Patrolling the high road is grave business, but it must be done. These narrow mountain trails are, for the time being, one of our only lifelines into Stone Talon. They must be preserved. Thank you. Ah, I feel stronger. Honor's stand may have been lost, but its spirit was never crushed. Even now, survivors are holding out at a point called Hunter's Hill. Continue following the high road, and you will find our camp just up ahead. Speak with Onate when you get there, and let her know that the trail is, for the moment, still clear. With me at your back. Roktar. Those that surrendered when honor's stand fell are no longer worthy of our horde, shaman. But I'm not giving up on them yet. The prison tower below us is lightly guarded. Let's give those prisoners one final chance to die with honor. I've set up ropes that will allow you to quickly clamber up and down the mountain. Slip down, acquire the confiscated weapons, and rearm the prisoners inside the tower. And Beeswell, stay by the tower. We're not yet equipped for an assault on the base proper. Our resources are limited, Shaman, but that doesn't mean we can't make some trouble down below. Use the ropes here to sneak down the hillside, then slay the human prison wardens. <coughs> Killing a couple of scrawny guards won't turn the tides of battle, but imagine the fear and chaos will reap as the humans discover the mutilated bodies. Holgrim grins a yellowed grin, his eyes glinting. <coughs> Sometimes the bloodlust of my orc friends is a little, a little much. Let's rappel down this mountainside. Hmm. We'll leave the, the workers alone. But you are a tower. Hold prisoners of the hole. I must get closer. I require a target. I need to target something first. prison can hold a true son of the horde. I will free my brethren. But I also need to find more arms. Ha! 
challenging. Soon you shall be free, brothers. But first, let me find some more weapons to arm you with. Yo, yeah, yeah. Who? Ha! Crate of arms. I can't seem to find any. Ah, there we go. Success. Speak, friend. May your blades never dull. What is that? Go forth to battle, sons of the horde. Brawl hall, strength. Lock tower Ogar. Who goes there? Your footsteps are not the lazy stride of a guard. A shaman, you say? Still brave and free? There's no hope for me, friend. I have lost my eyesight and I'm no longer fit for battle. I dared speak up when Captain Peak savagely beat one of the prisoners. In return, he kicked me in the head and kept kicking. He kicked me blind, Torn. You'll find Captain Peak at the top of this tower. If you seek justice, bring me his eyes. If he does not part with them willingly, so be it. For the horde. Well, Beefswell does not usually stoop to such acts of barbarity, but there is justice in your request, friend to Orc. for you, friend. What do you need? Go forth to victory. Loktar, strength. McGraw. Peak is a monster. If his superior knew, they would thank the Horde for ending him. You had them. I'll take your word for it. Hearing Peak scream like one of his victims is reward enough for me. Now leave me be, Beefswell. I do not wish to be a burden to my clan. For the Horde! An honorable warrior. His loss shall be felt strongly. Now, back up the mountain we go. <laughs> From up here, I got the perfect view of the havoc you just caused, Beefswell. Our lost brothers reclaimed some of their dignity, and the Alliance dogs were sent scrambling. Sharp work, my friend. If the Alliance sleeps comfortably at night, we are not doing our job. We will never let up, and we will never give in. That is the way of it, my friend. 
Good, good. It'll take them many sleepless nights to figure out we, where we came from and where we disappeared to after the kills. Be safe. Hmm. A fancy new belt for me. Fantastic. Alright. Now I believe we are off to Hunter's Hill. is probing, probing the twists and turns of the high road. Even if they were to map it out, they couldn't attack these hills in numbers. This is our land, Beefswell, and they will pay dearly for presuming otherwise. We are besieged here, Shaman, and between that chasm and the harassment of the Alliance we are short on supplies. But we make do with what's at hand, as we Torin always have. In the absence of a forge, a skilled leather worker can strengthen and patch up our damaged armor with good quality hides. Down below is the hunting ground of the Terra Tooth Raptors. They are not so easy to kill, in part due to the ruggedness of their thick skin. Hunt them, Beefswell, and bring their hides to me. Turn your eyes to the southeast. Do you see the campfire smoke from Camp Unafe? Not ten minutes ago, I saw great puffs of white smoke roll up into the sky from the center of camp. It was an old single signal used by my village to coordinate the hunt over great distances, but this time it was a distress signal. Beeswell, my brother Makaba has gone into that unnatural jungle. Please go there and make sure he's not in any trouble. There are a few paths. Look for tents within the wilderness. Goodbye. Lotar. Do you see the trail below us, Beefswell? That is my trail. And if the Alliance dogs choose to use my trail, they'd best be looking over their shoulder. <clears throat> it's time to collect my toll. Slay the foot soldiers from Otter's stand and see if we can't send them scurrying back to their walls. Be sure to take out at least one of their officers patrolling the road. They need to realize that nobody is safe. Looking for something special? Mm, just making this place my home for the time being, friend. Nothing particularly special. I could probably stand to... Unload my bags a bit. Hold on to that. Mm, I suppose that's about it. All right. Continuing along. Sound like there would be something, some more of a challenge to these raptors. Too far away. Come to me. Alliance dogs of which he speaks. Ah, here we go, an officer. Should put up a 
valiant fight, but not enough. Require a target. Fools of Alliance. Good work, brother. We still need three more footmen. We also need raptors. assume some of the footmen have been using the road. It would be further up this way as well. Yes, there we go. Only cowards die from a wound for the back. I must get closer. what they're doing out here on the road. They don't seem to be attacking or scouting, really. They just seem to be walking around. Somewhat strange behavior for mere footmen. But I'm not going to complain about them being out in the open where it's easy for me to take them out. Stand footman. The first. I'll claim this iron for the horde.
right, back we go. The question is, can we get up there by climbing the mountain, or do we have to go all the way around? That fellow seems to be having a day of it. How's the weather up there, friend? to Kill Rock. Blood and thunder. Excellent, Beef Swell. It will be some time before we can assault the hold proper. But until then, we must teach them to fear the barons. Ah, you say you found something on one of the bodies. Kill Rock pages through the plans you discovered. This explains much, Beef Swell. No wonder our foes are so hell-bent on taking the Southern Barons. It's the center of their plans for the continent. But they didn't account for us, did they, Shaman? These maps have all been drawn by the same steady hand. I've seen a human surveyor heading up and down the road between the hold and the jungle to the east. <coughs> <coughs> we can set their plans back by making an example out of this surveyor, Beef Swell. Killrock plants to the signature at the bottom of the maps. What do you think that says? Zykes? Even human names sound thin and weak. Kill him! Go forth to victory. How may I aid you? Terratooth raptors hunt in packs and surround their prey. We hunt them, yes, but we also respect them. Onate looks over the fresh hides, nodding her head slowly. Yes, Beef Swell, I can work with these. You work fast? These hides will help us hold out for reinforcements longer. Thank you. May the eternal Alright. Looks like we need to look for a human surveyor. With a weak-sounding name. Imagine he would be along the road, surveying. Worth checking back the other way as well.
A challenge, but not too great of a challenge. Not for beef swill. <clears throat> Touched by the boon of the ancients and one of the greatest young heroes of the Horde. Nothing stops Beefswell. Oops. All right. Um, kill rock. Oh. Now, this doesn't exactly live up to the name, the Barons, does it? It's rather, rather verdant here. I would say that something strange is afoot. being harassed by plants the sort of place is this sister recognized the old signals. Her hunter's eyes are as sharp as ever. Beefswell, when we first set up this camp, we were at the edge of this jungle. Now look at it. Something is amiss. Not everyone who fled Taraujo was able to make it to Unafe, Beefswell. Some died of wounds along the way. Others were jumped by opportunistic Quilbor. I'll take care of the grim task of finding and gathering the bodies, but there is something that you can do for me. Hecklefang scavengers prowl the land south of here and are savaging the corpses, tearing at their bowels and dragging away the limbs of the dead. Please, thin their numbers so that I can perform the proper funerary rites. When the refugees fled north from Tarojo, some were separated as darkness closed in. Many were taken prisoner by the Bristleback Quillbore who set up camp west and southwest of here. I am not certain what the Quillbore hoped to get from us by capturing our refugees. All they have earned is my ire, and all they'll get in return is vengeance. Rescue my trapped brothers and sisters, and kill their captors to send a message to the Quillbore. May the eternal sun shine. This camp was built at the edge of this jungle, and already is overwhelmed by plant growth. Something unnatural is happening here. Earlier I made the mistake of sending some of the healthier refugees out to gather nuts and berries. Those that returned talked about the plant life actually grasping at their legs, or even picking them up. I worry about those that haven't come back yet. Shaman, please rescue the refugees trapped in the grasping overgrowth around the camp.
Crazy Plants, and Quilbor, one of the Torin's most ancient of enemies. What exactly am I looking for here? Ah, yes, refugees. Be set free, my friend. Voice has deepened since I was blessed by the ancients. I require a target. Well met. There's nowhere to run, cowards. I'm aware that the wrath of Beefswell will not track you down. Imprison my brothers no longer. dogs too. We still need to rescue two more refugees, but I see a couple of cages here. The so one appears open. This one, on the other hand, no, no one in there either. Alright. Captured somebody in this cage. This one as well. All right. <clears throat> More of the hyenas. One dog to another. Target something first. I cannot attack that.
do we need to rescue some more refugees from the plants? Strange as that may seem. Free sister. I too remember when the barons were barren. I've heard tell of such times. And those times, according to my friends, were indeed glorious. Two more. Here we go. Another. Let my sister go, I am out creature. I require a target. Well met. sister. Ah, oh, I've been expecting you. So it is done. Normally these scavengers are part of the Earth Mother's cycle of life. But on the heels of the devastation wracked by both the Alliance and the Cataclysm, their numbers grow overwhelming. It is good to thin them out. It is bad enough to have one's village sacked, but to spend the following night in a Quillmore cage? I'm glad you were there to help Beepswell. The Quillmore are attacking because they perceive weakness. Strength is the only language they understand, so we will show them strength. Makaba withdraws a large horn from his satchel. This is admittedly crude work, but it will do. Bristleback leaders use horns like these to challenge one another for dominance. Beefswell, I want you to challenge the Bristleback champion, Saber Snout, to single combat. Defeat him in front of his followers. Blow the horn at the Bristleback challenging ring, do sell the fear. Go. My inventory is full. I must have empty our bags. We need all of these things. Um, <laughs> we can get rid of those. Get rid of that, 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 that. Most of this. All right, that should be good for the moment. Nanny, hey, farewell. We shall meet again. What brings you here? Thank you, Beef Swell. But now on to the larger question. Where is this overgrowth coming from? And why is it raging out of control? The great archdruid Narelex recently appeared here in the Barrens. He's either behind this mess or trying to fix it. Either way, you should talk with him before this jungle engulfs the whole world. He's in a small torn camp to the southeast. 
Along the way, it would be helpful for you to gather plant samples for him to study. The newest flower buds will tell him a great deal about the most recent changes in the jungle. The children you see here were all rescued from Taraujo when the fighting started. I'm trying to track down their parents. One of the refugees you rescued from the Quillbore recognized the strongest child as belonging to Koje and Mawe, Sternhorn. Moreover, he said Koje was camped at the Fields of Blood, just north of the Taraujo massacre site. Beefswell, please go there and tell Koje Sternhorn that his child is alive and well. Go in peace. Champion of the Horde's work is never done. Too far away. That didn't work out very well. Get me out of this muck. Foul creature. This is the place. I'm strong. <clears throat> oh, I'm more than strong enough for the whole apocalypse. Have you taken the bristlebacks down a peg or two? What? He attacked you with a dozen boars? I guess Quillbor have their own ideas of what single combat means. Still, the bristleback will be left reeling after the blow you delivered. It will not be long before a new champion rises amongst them to stir up trouble. But at least this buys us some time to get these refugees relocated safely. Thank you, Beefswell. The survivors owe you a great debt. Yes, this ring looks rather really nice. Alright. Time to pick some flowers.
Truly, truly, there is nothing I love more as a champion of the Horde than completing people's shopping lists for them. Stop for a moment. Get your damned flowers. That'd be worth a druid. I am extremely busy, shaman. Ah, samples from different parts of the overgrowth. These will be immensely helpful, yes. Thank you, shaman. The energies unleashed here have surged through the wildlife, twisting them into powerful and unstable forms. If allowed to spread beyond this grove, these deviates will wreak havoc on the existing ecosystems, devouring local prey and driving out the weaker natural creatures. You must go and cull the population of the overgrowth. Return when this task is done. Be careful. Greetings, traveler. The corruption unleashed here must be studied if we're to find a way of properly fighting it. Luckily, not all the creatures have been altered as others. The smaller snakes drink little water and do not eat plants, so their exposure to the energies here has been minimal. They've still absorbed enough to change coloration. Go collect these snakes from the overgrowth and return to me, so we can see just what is happening to the creatures here. There's got to be a way to cure these poor creatures without having to take their lives. I have an idea, shaman, but I'll need your help. The Lashvine plants that roam here hold seeds full of the primal energy of this place. Collect these for me and bring them back, and we'll see if something can be done. We shall meet again. Hmm. Alright, so we finally need to kill those little plants that have been annoying the hell out of me. We also need to kill deviant things, I believe. Like this plane strider. Don't have a target. <laughs> Didn't actually seem that deviant. I've seen plane striders that color before. But they weren't glow. I require a target. Raptors, 
so much changed color as it has grown strange spines. Excellent. One of its seeds. Exactly what I needed. I must get closer. I must get closer. Too far away. I suppose, in a way, I shouldn't mourn for the loss of the old barons. If they were still as they were in the times of my forefathers, then I suppose I would not have the chance to prove myself as a champion of the Horde here. The barons of old's problems had been dealt with. Snakes and seeds. Too far away. These things seem awful stingy with their seeds. Give up your secrets to me, plant. my snakes and I just need two more seeds. However, now that I'm looking for them, I can't seem to find any of these little annoying plant creatures. Isn't that always the way?
Damn it all to hell. Not this one. They got a little less stingy. Oh, of course. Now that I don't need any more of you. You have called down the thunder. And now you have got it. Thank you, Beefswell. I'm pleased to see you return intact. The viciousness I've been seeing among these creatures is startling. If I have truly sown chaos, it is time for reaping. The lumbering outgrowths of plant life shambled through the imbued stream here, Beefswell. They are a direct manifestation of the unstable forces mutating this area. Slay as many as you can, and we might be able to slow the spread of the overgrowth further. And while you're at it, be on the lookout for parts of them that appear especially corrupted. Bring any such pieces to me. May the stars go. Please, friend. Have you collected enough? We'll need several for proper comparison. These will do perfectly. Bright colors like these don't occur naturally in the Barrens, but they haven't developed any other mutations so far. Do you have the seeds? I'm concerned by how active these are. Nevertheless, it simply means we must continue to act quickly before the corruption here becomes worse. Based on what you've brought me, I think we may have a solution. I've imbued the Lashvine seeds with healing energies. Simple contact with these should imbue the creatures here with enough energy to force out the corrupted influence. Go and attempt to heal the mutated raptors and plane striders by sprinkling the seeds on them, and report the results back to me. Walk with the bird. Well, let's give it a try, shall we? Oh, well, that, uh, I don't, I don't think that was what he had planned, but we'll try again. Okay, this one just seems to have gotten angry with me. Very well. Must get closer. And this one has gotten angry with me as well. I don't think your seeds are working out too well, Freddy. face, did you? Very well. I am out of range. That's how it's going to be. Oh. Oh, that one that one seemed to have worked. Alright. Well perhaps perhaps it does work. Too far away. So, yeah, one out of five are not great odds. One out of six. Oh, all right. Well, I mean, I suppose it's better than nothing. I 
must get closer. Come along, swamp thing. Show me what you've got. heart. How disgusting. Takes care of that. The winds. Go oh dear. It seems the forces at work here are a bit difficult to control. Please don't bother Narelex with this. It will only upset him. Ancestors. Ishnu Allah. Cutting down the outgrowth will merely buy us some time. Have you found any suspicious pieces? Marilek slowly takes the squirming heart from me, visibly disturbed. I've been a fool. The one truth I did not want to accept has been staring me in the face this entire time. This foul thing is proof of that. You and I have much work to do. This confirms that the overgrowth here is not caused by a mere overabundance of energy. Do you understand? This is beyond what happened at the Wailing Caverns now. A rift into the nightmare must have torn open in the middle of the very land we're standing on. And to think, it's my fault. I'm done picking at the edges of this wound. Go to the west, to the center of the overgrowth, and meet me again there. We will dive into the heart of this corruption and force it shut. Ah, new weapon. Good luck, friend. Greetings. Goddess, watch over you. Looks like I have a friend. Pretty. Definitely not pretty. Hello. We've done it! The nightmare's connection to this place has been severed. The rest of the land is safe from this intrusion now, and in time the aberrations here will be subsumed by the balance of nature. I cannot thank you enough, Beastwell. For helping to restore order here, you've let me make amends for my foolish actions.
Well, we've accomplished much here. It would be a tragedy if part of this corruption has escaped our notice. The corridors of the Wailing Cavern stretch throughout the entire Barrens, and if another spot of wild energy has made its way to the surface... You've done enough for me, though. I would simply ask that you let a fellow druid of mine know of what's happened here. You will find Winoa Pine Forest at Vendetta Point, southwest of here. And then light your path. It's actually not an upgrade, sadly. Such is life, I suppose. <clears throat> well, actually, I think it is an upgrade in a certain way. We'll use it. All right, moving along. That will piss off. Kurge listens intently and then falls to one knee. Alive? My boy still lives? Praise to the Earth Mother, I still have a son. Kurge composes himself. Shaman, my boy's mother didn't make it out of Taraujo alive. I will avenge her death, even if it means my son grows up without either of his parents. The Alliance scorches a trail of murder across the Barrens. We must stop them here, or there is nothing left for us. Across the fields of blood, there are a number of strategic hills, marked by wooden towers and neutral gray banners. We must take and hold these hills if we hope to slow the Alliance advance. Look for the towers to the north, east, and south of what's left of Taraujo. Claim a neutral flag and defend the hill against counterattack. How may I aid you? I could feel what occurred from here, shaman. It bristled every hair I have. I'm overjoyed to hear you succeeded in pushing those horrors back, and I'll be sure to scour the area for any stray deviant creatures. Goodbye. Ah, I've been expecting you. If you seek vengeance on our Alliance invaders, you would do well to observe the fiercest predators of the Barrens. The lions that stalk amongst the tall grass do so with cunning, stealth, and power. Learn from their example, and you will understand the kind of war we need to fight. Hunt the plains prowlers and pride mains, then return to me to discuss what you have learned. You will often find them in the shade of large trees. Walk with the Earth Mother. <clears throat> What do you need? Our defense of the barons hasn't gone well under Gardul's command, Beefswell. Garrosh has sent Warlord Bloodhilt here to take control of the situation. He's here in camp, and if you want to make a good impression, you'll demonstrate some initiative. Head east into the fields of blood and seek out Northwatch recon units. Bringing the new Warlord a stack of their merit badges will help you make a name for yourself. May your blades never dull. All right, let's uh, let's get out here. Kill some lions.
looking for humans, apparently. I think I found one. Let's take care of this fool. And we'll claim this little mountain, little hill. For the horde. Welcome, brothers and sisters. Let us pay the Alliance back in blood. sent all they had with their first charge, it seems like. Not much coming after that. Ooh, strays. And he runs. What a fool. I require a target. else wants to come play, do they? Can't say I blame them. A few more merit badges, and we can head back to town. Very good. Ah, yes. I see a cunning in your eyes that was not present before. Well done, Shaman. May the eternal Bravo. You look like the Taman. <clears throat> you look like the type of Shaman who gets things done. What news do you have from the field? <laughs> Bloodhilt looks at the badges, then allows them to spill from his hands onto the sands below. His lips curl open into a toothy grin. Now this is what I like to see, Shaman. What is your name again? You will go far here. Go forth to victory. What brings you here? So you held your ground. With tenacity like yours, we might yet drive the Alliance from our lands. Go in peace. Speak, friend. Beef swell. You've proven yourself on the fields of blood, but the Alliance still threatens our Torrin friends. The siege machinery outside the gates of Mulgore is like a spear aimed at our heart. I want you to go to the gates south of here and remove those siege vehicles from play. Here, use these sticky bombs. They're courtesy of our new goblin allies. It looks as though they've stuffed explosive powder into what looks like <clears throat> grease-covered socks, but they'll do. <coughs> well, it has been an exciting day, but I believe we're going to call it a day here. 
So, friends, until next time, I have been Beefswell, and I will see you for continuing adventures in the Southern Barrens next time. Hey everybody, Great Pirate Solomon here. I just want to thank you for watching the latest episode of the Vision Quest of Brave Beefswell. This episode was originally streamed on Twitch, um, and then I just kind of ported it over here. Um, kept cut out the beginnings and ends where I was out of character. Um, but anyways, um, if you like what I do, go ahead and click on my pirate head, subscribe for more. If you want to see the last episode in this series, click on the window on the left. And if you really like what I'm up to, you can find me also around the interwebs. Uh, all my links are down on the bottom right. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.